My name is Sophie Nicole and this is Ark Survival Evolved. So I was going to, between this, uh, the last episode and this episode, oh hell, go get more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Crystal. But when I got to the top of the hill over there, I looked around and I discovered something unfortunate. There were no crystals remaining. And I'm not sure how long resources take to respawn and frankly I don't have the wherewithal right now to look that up. But it wasn't respawning now and it won't respawn while I'm standing there waiting around for it. So I thought, hmm, where is there another place to get crystal other than a cave? And yeah, I could find a cave and go into the cave and, you know, brave the dangers of the cave and uh, get stuff and maybe even survive. But that didn't sound like a good time for me. Right at the moment. So, I then thought, well, there is a whole ass volcano with crystal and obsidian. The problem with the volcano is uh right. It's north like two or three times the distance as the amount of map we've unlocked. And getting there on foot, especially on foot in uh, riding a parasaur is going to take a while. And that area has Argentavises and Tyrannosaurs and both are hostile and it's just a bad time. Um, and I don't want to risk dying and my dino dying and just everything going awful. So I'd like to do this the easy way. The easy way requires taming a flyer. That's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Um, the big huge honking issue there is I need to tame the flyer. And then I need to uh you know level it up so that it can carry me and enough resources to make the trip worth it. And I swear to you, before starting the recording, there were plenty of Pteranodons flying around, and now they are all gone, as you can see, which is why we've been running around in circles aimlessly, because I'm looking for a Pteranodon, because there were so many over here just a minute ago. There's one. These are bolas. And this is how a bola works. Oh, actually, hang on. To save time. You are a little too high up there for me to really get you, I think. Damn. That was so close. And of course, you're gonna be all really hot. There you go. Yeah, see? You bola the pteranodon. 
you knock it out. This one's level two. Interesting. And then uh, give it meat because pteranodons are carnivores. And then of course the weight. Today's beverage, by the way, which I'm about to take a drink of, is the Good Doctor. Oh. I've been drinking a lot of the Good Doctor lately, even though it doesn't seem like it on my recordings. It just has been going that way. So, let's show something here. You can force eat. Uh, force them to eat things. Doing so with their preferred food does not increase their their taming percentage. But if you force eat them narcotics, their torpidity goes back up, which means it takes them longer to wake up. That also increases their food meter, which makes it less likely that they're going to actually eat. So there's a trade-off there. <sighs> Come on. I don't have all day. I really don't have all day. Come on. Eat. Become tame. I don't want to go too far away uh, for fear of the tyrannid on waking up and all of this being wasted. I didn't pass. Oh, okay. Okay, you need to come this way. Oh, you're a fast little bit, aren't you? Jesus. Okay, you, you need to... You need to... You need to go, uh, land. There. I think I just bumped the microphone. Sorry about that. You stay there. Bolas. That was a little surprising. Come here. Give me those back. And take this. And take this. What? Oh, come on! I... People are laughing at me now because they were like, Sophie, that's not a pteranodon saddle. That's not a pteranodon saddle. You should, uh, pay more attention. What are you doing? Don't waste all those resources. Oh, you are super resources. Because you are a moron. Uh, pteranodon saddle. It requires 75 chitin, 230 hide. Do I have the hide? I doubt it. No, I don't. 
Do I have the chitin or keratin? I do. So, let's leave you here. And... Go get some hide. Oh! That didn't go so well. But I survived. That's the important part. You saw that. that I need. I could fire hide me. Oh. oh hell, I'm still using trank arrows. That's not ideal. I would uh I would much like kill. <laughs> That gives me two thirds of the hide that I need. Hello. I see you, motherfucker. That's not the button that I wanted. Haha, <laughs> you thought you could win. I still need, like, uh, what can I get more hide from? Any takers? Anyone want to provide me the hide? Huh. Uh, you won't provide me the hide, but you'll provide resources I want. <laughs> Now where's that parasaur go? Or parasaur, I should say. That's it. Saddle and I'm going to just keep the rattle rattle saddle, yes. I'm going to keep the rattle saddle. I'm going to keep the raptor saddle because eventually I intend to chain at least one raptor because they are great fast mounts. Um, so I'll just hold on to that instead of tracking it. For now though, back up the hill. Oh, you lucky Oh, I'm starting to. Hang on. I'll go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. What am I doing? Oh, saddle. Right. Uh, how much can you weigh, uh, carry? 120 pounds. That's not good. 300 pounds. Better, but still not amazing. Give you a whole bunch of meat so that you can have that. Now, do I still have that golden hesperonis egg? Naturally, I do not. Okay. That's. I wanted the Golden Hesperonis egg because it would have given me, or I could have fed it to Terry, and Terry would have received, like, a, a huge, uh, 
experience point boost. And that would have sped up the leveling issue. Which would have been a good thing because then, you know, I would have been able to utilize her flight faster. I can't really utilize her flight in order to go get resources because she can't hold that much resources. That's the flight. So, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do what we can there. Good way for dinos to get experience is to attack and kill things, or attack and harvest things. Because Terry is a carnivore, it would not be terribly helpful to attack and harvest plants and stuff, but if I don't kill you. Those little bastards are fast. Maybe I should go after dodos instead. What the fuck is going on over there? That looks like a whole bunch of note. So you can see up here your your flyer has an energy bar. And uh you can or a stamina bar I should say, and you can increase the stamina bar. And the stamina bar goes down slowly as you fly or quickly as you fly fast. And uh once it goes down all the way your flyer is going to land whether you want them to or not. So that's something you want to be aware of. She now has a level. You can hit F to access their level screen. And of course I'm putting points in weight because I want her to be able to carry as much as possible. Are you an egg? You're a triceratops egg. And if I take that egg they are going to attack me, but I could fly away. But then they might chase me. They might be like, aha, I can see you flying, and I can walk. And then come after me. That's a that's a good question, and with flyers, I tend I typically want them to have twice the encumbrance, which is one of the reasons why I use 
so much, uh, so much weight when I'm, that's a true dog. There. Aha! Um, that's one of the reasons why I jack the dino weights so damn high, because... Because I want the flyers to be able to carry a lot. Um, because, you know, inventory management. I used to set my base up over here, by the way. Like, in the shade of this tree. But there was a problem with that. Because over here, you lure a lot of raptors from that way. Which is, you know, less than ideal. I wonder how well you can do for a character and more after it on. So damn much meat. Yes, raise your stamina back up. Uh, that's a lot of meat. I don't think you necessarily need that much meat. You damn sure don't need to hide. So see, what I'm doing right now is just going around trying to level the dino because I kind of need the levels. Uh, while we're in the area, though, let me show you something. I think it's over here. Maybe not. Yes. Right over here. And I don't know if these spawn in the same places every time. I suspect they don't. But you see that, like, orange tan thing over there? Right, right over there? That thing is a hive. And you can harvest bee honey from it. I'm not sure how that works, but you can. And you can use the bee honey for a couple of things, including fishing bait. I think you need to, like, smoke the hive or something, but I don't know how to do that. I think there might be a smoker. There's a smoke grenade. I wonder if that would do the trick. I don't actually know. So, like, you can also tame, uh, bee queens. Um, but it's apparently a really complicated and difficult process. So that's something I've never done. Partly because it's complicated and difficult, and partly because, like, Bees? I don't... No, thank you. Oh, you're bright green. I wonder if you're male. Are you male? You are male. I should tame you and bring you over to share with, uh... Tisco. Maybe Tisco would like you. Tetsu. Tetsu. Jesus Christ. Ariel is watching this and she's thinking you're a fucking moron. Yes, I know, Ariel. I am a fucking moron. We had a conversation just the other day about uh, me being bad at pronouncing things. Are you a raptor or are you... We are coming right along. 
Oh, you can run. Oh, rest up a little. What's my XP? I have one level. I kind of want to wait for two levels so that I can fit these both at the same time. There's another one. You're purple. Fuck. Now I wanna tame you. But I'm busy. You ass. You were purple. purple. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Those are raptors. Yeah, bitch. Uh. Oh, you're an alpha raptor, too. That one with the. Uh. Aura coming off of it, I'm pretty sure that's an Alpha Raptor. And Alpha Raptors, as discussed before, are incredible in terms of hit points. Uh, they are not easy to destroy. But, because I'm a dumbass and a dumbass punishment. Where are you going? I guess some raptors. I wonder if we can hit them from up here. Maybe, but probably not. Especially with them moving around like that. No, that's basically an impossible shot. I might be able to make that with a long neck rifle and a scope. What does long neck rifle take? Rifle. 95 metal. I have that. I don't have the gunpowder. We can change that. Okay, I'm gonna try this with my crossbow here and almost certainly die. And then... And in between episodes, I can make a whole bunch of gunpowder. And that didn't go so well. If it wasn't for the Alpha Raptor, I would Bola the Raptor and just tame the damn thing. But there is an Alpha Raptor, and uh... You can't bowl at Alpha Raptors, and you also can't tame them. Yep, 
Yeah, this isn't going well, and I know that if I go down there, I'm going to die, so uh, I'm chickening out. It's about time for the episode to end anyway. Ish. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to get the stuff to make the long neck rifle. That was wrong. And I'm going to make the long neck rifle. Uh... That was quite too good. And it was... Hide. I don't remember how to hide. And... A whole bunch of metal. So I'm gonna grab all of the metal because I can't really do anything with it. Over here anyway. for now and then I might make the others later um, so over here we have rotten meat that's just sort of going away that's wonderful I need spark powder okay uh, we know how to make spark powder and now we know how to make gunpowder and then you bring the gunpowder over here with metal I would love to combine with the other stack. And then you go in here, weapons, ammo, and you make the appropriate ammo. Um, simple bullets for the pistol, which requires metal ingots and gunpowder, and the simple rifle ammo, which requires twice as much gunpowder uh, and twice as much metal. And then, of course, this requires gunpowder, metal ingot, and simple bullet for the shotgun ammo. Um, you can also make grappling hooks, which use the crossbow, um, but I haven't really needed that yet, so. Uh, anyway, yes, I'm going to make some ammunition, and I may make the other two firearms, and I'll revamp my tool belt here, and... We will call this a day. Uh, this has been Ark Survival Evolved.